So buckwheat is technically a pseudo grain. Um, so it's not even related to wheat. And it has a strong history in Asian and Eastern European cuisine because it can grow in cold climates. Buckwheat is the grain of choice in traditional dishes around the world, um, like French crepes, Russian blini, and Japanese soba noodles, um, or in Jewish kasha. Buckwheat is also a popular cover crop um, because it can help restore the soil between seasons of farming. And uh, you can use it a lot of different ways. You can, of course, cook it like you would any other grain, like you would with rice. Um, but I think buckwheat is really interesting, actually, when you just sort of toast it, like you don't even cook it with water, because it has the texture almost like an almond. Um, so I like to use buckwheat in place of croutons on a salad. Uh, sometimes it can be hard to source like whole grain croutons, uh, depending on where you're shopping or um, in the food service arena, like um, what your distribution system looks like. So I really like to take some buckwheat kernels and they look like this, kind of like pyramid shape and toast them on the skillet until they're a little golden, but not burnt. And that's it. Just sprinkle them on a salad. Um, I've also done granola with buckwheat. Um, so yeah, just they, they taste like seeds or nuts. So it's just a, a great texture, great in snacks. And uh, if you were to cook it, it does cook fairly quickly compared with some other grains.